In this video, we're going to cover the key influencers AI visual to help you understand what factors influence your metrics. We're going to go through it step by step from choosing what to analyze to what to explain it by. And we're also going to cross reference it with our own analysis to make sure that the AI visual is correct. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So first, let's go through this example that I prepared for you today. It's a simple Power BI report that has information about employees and their absence. Um, so you'll see we have one row per user. We have information about them, like which department they belong to, their length of service and absent hours, as well as their age. And imagine you were given a task to try and understand what drives a higher absent hours. So typically when you get a data set like this, you would start creating some visuals. So let me start doing that now. So already from these charts, you can already get some analysis and some correlations between this data. But did you know that you can use AI visuals to make this process a little bit easier? This is where the key influencers AI visual comes in. So let me show you how you can start using it. So what you want to do is, so let's create a new page here, just the AI visual. So under the visualizations, you see key influencers. Let's make it bigger. And let's see, we want to analyze the data by, let's say, absence hours. And now you will see we need to put some data on the explain by. This is what we want to explain the absence hours by. Let's drag in age and gender and length of service. So let's have a look at this AI visual here. So you'll see on the top here, because we put absent hours as our analyze field, you'll see we can choose how we want to see this visual, right? So it asks what influences absence hours to increase. So this is what we want, but you can also choose it to, to, to see what influences absence hours to decrease. But for now, we'll leave it to increase. Under the table here on the left, uh, the visual here on the left is your key influencers that most likely affect the absence hours. So we have dragged the age, gender and length of service as our kind of explanations and it ranks them, uh, I guess, by their weight. So you'll see our top key influencers is age and you can see that if there is an age, if the age goes up by 9.3, then the average absent hours increase. And what it does is it ranks all the different key influencers by their weight category. So the more, the higher they are in this, in this list, the more likely they are affecting the absent hours, the what we're trying to analyze. On the right hand side, we can see the chart that uh, plots, it's a scatter chart that plots the age against the absent hours. So it's, it's kind of a detailed look at the key influencers, look what it's showing here on the left. So um, at the moment it's showing that on average when the age increases, the absent hours also increase. And you'll see when I click on any of these as well. So for example, we can see that there's also another key influencer here, which is the length of service. So it's saying that if the length of service um, is nine or less, so it's, if it's less than nine, it also increases the absence hours. So if I click on that, you will see that it also shows another, it generates a, a, another visual for you to use. Uh, that, that, that compares between lengths of service that are 
nine or less or if, if they have been in the company for more than nine and you see these groupings are generated by the key influencers AI visual we didn't actually create this bin so uh, our length of service are just numbers but it recognized that users or employees that have been in the company for less than nine years are more likely to take absence um, and we can see here in the gender it does almost similar so it just it just tries to categorize by male or female and see uh, which gender is more likely to have a higher average or higher number of absence hours. So if we try to add more values on the explain by to try to explain these numbers, let's say let's put business units, you'll see that it won't really show everything. And that's because the AI deems the business unit to not have a factor or it doesn't influence the absence hours based on the business unit. Uh, that's why it doesn't show up in this list. However, if you're only interested in a specific business unit or you want to see what the key influencers are for a specific slice that won't show up in the key influencers, the, this visual is also affected by external filters. So for example, if the business unit doesn't work here, what we can do is we can create a filter here. So let's bring it here, create it as a filter. And let's say we want to just see the stores so you will see that now it it filters out the data points to only look at the business unit stores so you'll see it's slightly different from comparing it against all of the business units let's remove that filter and let's look at the top segments here on the key influencers visual so what you can see is that power bi uh, th this visual creates or segments your data based on uh, based on some algorithms which you didn't have to analyze yourself, right? So as you can see here, Power BI created five different segments based on the data that we have put in the analyze and the explain by. Um, the size of the bubble represents the number of employees or populations that make up that that segment so the bigger the bubble the more the bigger it represents of the whole data set the height of the bubble represents the average absent hours for that segment so it, it, it means that the higher the height is of that bubble the higher the absence hours is for that specific segment so let's have a look at one and let's see exactly what i mean by these if I click on one, you'll see that this segment is segmented for employees that are aged greater than 57. So if they're 57 years old and older, you'll see that this segment represents 5.1% of all of our data. So I think we have about 8,000 employees at the moment. And um, it's 419 employees that we are looking at in this segment. You'll see that the this has this segment segment one has an average absent hours of 149.8, which is higher than the overall average 60.67. So that is quite quite a high number. So you'll see that you can also click on the other segments to try and understand how they are segmented and how much they represent um, the overall data points. So if we go here, you'll see this one um, is different segmented by age. This one is age and gender. It, 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 uh, the AI decides the different segments and bins for you. And this one is the segment five, which represents 9%, a significant number of our data set. So let's go back to segment one and let's try to validate these numbers and let's try to do our own analysis to make sure that these numbers and the averages are correct, right? And this is what we expect. So we know that this is segmented by age, where age is 57. So let's do a card here that does an average let's try to first get this number 149.8 so we want to get the average absent hours um, so now we have 
Um, so this is the overall actually, so never mind. So let's, let's do the overall first. So 60.67, so all I did is get the average as in hours across all of our employees, right? And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing, except we will do the average for segments that are, for employees that are age 57 above is greater than 57. So let's do a visual here is greater than 57. So you'll see that gives us 149.7 or 149.8, exactly the same as this segment here. So we know that th this key visual is correct. Let's try to do another one. So let's try to see um, how many employees there are in this segment. So let's do a count of employees a card and then let's do also a filter is greater than 57 so you'll see it tells us that these are 419 employees in this segment so exactly like what we're seeing here in the AI visual and that's it for this video I hope you now understand how you can use key influencers visual to make your analyses a lot faster and easier if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section box below. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much guys for watching. See you again on the next one.